Okay, so I found actually if you hit F11, <clears throat> I have checked the BIOS settings, it all looks okay. Um, what I've done is I've moved uh, the virtual CD ROM drive to the top of the list, but then I found this F11 option entering, where it says entering boot menu. <clears throat> so you can actually select which device to boot from. So I'm going to give that a go. Unfortunately, we've got to wait for the RAID initialization and everything else to go through first. So it's quite a laborious process booting these servers. But we should eventually be presented with a boot menu, which will allow me to select the virtual CD drive. There we go. So, select virtual CD ROM. Now it's going to boot the ESXi installer. All oh, right, here we go. So it's booting into ESX now, the ESX installer. So remember, this is all done using virtual media, so I've not actually have to, had to burn um, a CD or a DVD. It probably might have been quicker, um, but at least now that the track's set up, I can use it any time I want now, going through all this, this process. So it's actually accessing the ISO image via the virtual media plugin that's running on my PC, um, and that itself has the ISO loaded on a separate NAS server. So it's got a lot of network activity going on here, but everything's plugged in at gigabit. Well, my PC and the NAS are plugged in at gigabit, although it looks like the track itself only supports 100 meg, um, which is a bit of a shame, but then, you know, this technology is getting on a bit. I'm sure the modern day tracks, maybe the Drac 6, might support gigabit. So it might be worth checking. <clears throat> so you can see this is gonna probably take a, a few minutes We can see the network activity like blinking furiously on my NAS. So what I'll probably do is just stop this video and then come back when we've got something interesting to look at. <clears throat> 